Merlot is such a wonderful grape. It's a medium acid, medium tannin. It's just kind of medium all over the place, medium body. It goes so well with vegetarian dishes and I really love it with this sandwich. So I'm gonna make for you a roasted vegetable French dip and it's just so tasty. So hopefully you'll enjoy it. I have here about four or five mushrooms, portobello mushrooms, and I like to slice those about a half an inch thick. And then what I wanna do is get a couple of peppers ready to go into the oven. So for these, I'm just going to cut them in strips and I like to just cut the pepper right off like this and plop it on our cookie sheet. Now, what I wanna do generally when I roast vegetables is put down a little parchment paper because the vegetables have a lot of sugar in them and if they're releasing that liquid and that sugar, sometimes they can burn against your pan and I really just prefer to have that flavor not all over the place. Okay, now let's just drizzle a little olive oil. and then I'll add a little salt and pepper. Now I want to put these in a 450 degree oven for about seven minutes to just roast them nicely and lightly. So let's slice up some onions and I could roast these onions, but I want that onion flavor in my sauce that I'm going to do. So French dip, you've got to have a French dip sauce, right? So I want to have that great onion flavor in the sauce. And what I want to do is not caramelize them, but I'm just going to fry them a little bit and get just a touch of moisture out of them before I add some more moisture into them. Okay, now I have about three tablespoons of butter that I just wanna put down in my pan. It's nice and hot, so it will melt really quickly. Now I wanna take just a pinch of salt to put over top, maybe, oh, about, quarter of a teaspoon. If you put a little salt on your onions, it will start to draw that moisture out just naturally. That looks delicious. These onions are starting to turn slightly translucent, which is what I want. Okay, these onions are soft now. They're not so soft that they're mushy, but they're just soft enough that they still have a little bit of body and they'll have just a touch of bite to them. Now I want to add a little bit of white wine. A little bit of soy sauce. This is going to be our salt component in this. I have just a touch of chili pepper flakes, so just about a pinch, not even an eighth of a teaspoon. And a little steak sauce. Mm. At this point, you can add a mushroom stock or a vegetable stock. I particularly like beef stock in this, so that's what I'm gonna use. Now let that simmer for about two or three minutes to get all of the flavor all together, and then we'll take our vegetables out of the oven and build that sandwich. So let's make a little sauce to go down on our bread, and when I think of French dip, I think of horseradish because generally I'm thinking about beef. So I've got some mayo in here and I want to add some horseradish to that. And then a little bit of garlic. Then let's sprinkle in a little salt and pepper. Give it a good stir. Now I want to take some bread that I've just broiled lightly and I'm just going to spread this on. And I like to use a more coarse bread because if you use a softer bread, the bread just really gets wet from the vegetables. Now let's start building this up. You can see how the moisture started to come out of the mushrooms and out of the peppers. These just look great. I love portobello mushrooms anyway, and on this sandwich, they're just delicious. And now some peppers. Mm. You wanna work quickly on this just so that the mushrooms don't cool off too much, but we're gonna stick it under the broiler for just a second so they do have a chance to heat up a little bit more. All right, now let's get those onions on there. Now I just strained the onions through a nice sieve so I could catch the onions in the sieve and catch that beautiful au jus in a cup. Don't worry, you can just pile this back on after you get it out of the oven. 
And then we want to top it with some provolone cheese. All right, let's stick that under the broiler for just about 45 seconds and it'll be ready. Doesn't this look amazing? That's what it looks like when it comes out from the broiler. Now I just put a little bit of my sauce on the top and there we go. Look at this amazing sandwich. Mm. This is just so good. You will not know that you don't have beef in it. It is just so delicious, just amazing. Mm. And that with this beautiful Merlot. So good. Oh, perfect. I can't wait to sink my teeth into this. It's just so good, so good. Hope you enjoy.